the color wheel. The color wheel is one of our most important tools that we have as an artist. It helps us know how to use our colors and how to make them. If a color wheel is not used, we might end up having an image that has too many colors and is much too busy. When we use a color wheel, it helps make our artwork look more complete and create a sense of cohesiveness. To help us understand how to use colors, we'll make a color wheel. First, add our primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. The artist Piet Mondrian used the primary colors to create his artwork Broadway Boogie Woogie. Next, we'll use those primary colors to make our secondaries. When I mix yellow and red together, I'll make orange. When I mix red and blue together, I'll make violet. And when we mix blue and yellow, it'll make green. Once we have our color wheel set, we can do many other things. We can make warm and cool colors from the color wheel. There are red, yellow, and orange, which are our warm colors. These make us feel like there's heat and fire. Our cool colors are green, blue, and violet. A picture made with warm colors is going to pop out and seem really vibrant. A picture made with cool colors will seem more calm. Mark Rothko used warm colors in this painting called Untitled. In contrast, the Great Wave at Kanagawa by Hokusai uses primarily cool colors. Complementary colors are when two colors are across from each other on the color wheel, like blue and orange, yellow and violet, and red and green. These colors, when put next to each other, appear more vibrant, and they stand out. When we mix them together, these colors change again and can turn into browns. You might say that the colors even become a little bit more muted as they blend together. In the artwork San Giorgio Maggiore at Dusk by Monet, you can see the artist used complementary colors, blue and orange, to help make it really stand out. Tints and shades are another way that we can change our colors. By adding white, we'll make a tint. Again, adding more white to a color is going to make it get lighter and lighter. In contrast, shades are made by adding black. Again, when adding black to a color, it makes it darker. Pablo Picasso used this technique in his self-portrait. He used the pure color blue and its tints and shades to create a feeling of sadness in his work of art. Now that you know a little bit more about how to make the color wheel and use its colors, what can you create?